All right, guys, welcome back to the Fruge Seafood Test Kitchen today. Uh, we're playing with uh, Chilean sea bass, uh, one of my favorites, a uh, great high-end menu option. Uh, and what we're doing today is we have one of our vendors for this uh, makes a really quality high-end uh, pre-portioned product. As you can see, it's backpacked here. Uh, this is an eight ounce portion. Uh, sea bass is one of those items that the industry standard on this is that the, the fish is caught uh, and IQF frozen on the boat. All sea bass that you're gonna find on the market, either at the restaurant level, wholesale, or retail, is a frozen product that has been refreshed. So this is one of those items that really kind of makes sense from a costing perspective on the, on the plate cost to buy a portion IQF product. It's the exact same end result as if you're buying it, uh, even from us, in, in loin form, it is a refreshed product. So here you're gonna get 100% yield on something that is already a premium high-end product. Um, and, and as you can see, the packages here, they, they thaw really quickly. Great yield, on basically 100% yield on it. Uh, chemical free, there's no chemical injections in this. Uh, the product is actually caught, cleaned, portioned, frozen on the boat before it even leaves, uh, before it even comes in the dock. Uh, so today we're just gonna do a quick pan sear on this, throw it in the oven. Uh, I've got some uh, steamed broccolini, nice little mushroom dashi, uh, and some fresh heirloom tomatoes. We're gonna throw this together nice and light. The fish is real oily, so I really want some clean flavors to go with it. Uh, we'll get this seasoned up and go from there. All right, guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and season this filet, uh, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna season both sides, but I'm just gonna season this one, get it in the pan, and I'll season the other one that's in the pan. Uh, got my pan preheated over here, nice and high heat, with a little bit of oil, and then uh, I like to put a little butter in there as well. Oil helps it to not burn. But the butter really helps us to get that nice crust that we're looking for on that sea bass. Uh, you really want that nice, thick, golden brown crust to give you a little bit of textural, textural play on it. We'll get our filet right in there. And you don't want to move around, you want to really have that, let that crust develop. Okay, again, a little salt and pepper on here. As you can see, it's a nice, beautiful, thick cut. Uh, I did nothing to this other than pull it out of the package. Uh, so really a great option if you're a steakhouse or anybody that's doing fine dining. Uh, great special occasion menu, Valentine's, Mother's Day, anything like that where you're looking for a nice premium high-end product, 100% um, yield so you get a great plate cost, great way to bring value uh, to, to your customers. So we'll give this about two or three minutes on this side, let the crust get nice and developed. I'll get it flipped over uh, and I'm going to put a couple of our tomatoes in there, cut side down, I want to kind of char those up. We'll pop this in the oven and we'll put the dish together. All right, now we've uh, been presentation side down for about three minutes or so. Nice, pretty, nice, pretty crust, nice and hard. You can kind of see it. So I just want to take a couple of our, our tomatoes here and just drop them in the pan, cut side down. We'll get a quick sear on them. Gonna kind of roast these in the oven as we bake the fish. Just to kind of take the rawness out of the, the tomato. Okay, we'll take the whole thing, get it in the oven. About 400 degrees, big thick, big thick cut like that. You're probably looking at somewhere between eight to 10 minutes. Sea bass is not one of these fish that you want to serve rare. You really want to go medium to medium well. Those nice big flakes start to break apart. Uh, and that's what you're looking for. A nice tender, flaky uh, sea bass. So about eight to 10 minutes in the oven, we'll pull it out and we'll put the dish. All right, now we've been in the oven about four minutes. I want to go ahead and pull it out, get the tomatoes out of the pan. I'll get them in the bowl and then we'll pop the sea bass right back in. All right, obviously, hot pan, hot handle. And I just want to flip this up. That's all we're looking for is to really just kind of get a nice little char on the, on the tomato. It really kind of softened up. It'll help to give a little bit of depth of flavor too to our, our, our broth once we get that on the plate. All right, and there we go. We'll get our fish back in. About another four or five minutes. We'll be good to go. All right, now our fish is ready. We're gonna get this out of the oven. And what I've got here is just a nice little uh, real rich mushroom broth. I had some uh, shallot and garlic and onion and uh, a little red wine, beef broth in there. I'm just going to kind of get a bit of this down here on the bottom. I want this to be kind of like a like a nice nice broth, a, a sauce to, to dip your fish in, but I don't really want it covering the fish. A couple of mushrooms on there. I'm just going to take our fish. Lay it right over the top. Right, and there you go. We've got our 
Chilean sea bass with a uh, nice little steamed broccolini, uh, charred heirloom tomatoes, and a nice little mushroom stock.